Okay, this is long overdue uh, for me. I want to start reviewing stuff, so let me go ahead and get to the Batman series here of movies. So Batman Begins. Um, now this is spoiler, so spoiler. Um, so pretty much, I um, Batman Begins. You know, I'm a big Batman fan. Um, I like the movie. It starts out, you know, showing him going to uh, th to become. And get trained from the monks and like the or not the monks um, with Raj Al Ghul, the guy who has that liquid and he goes in it and he can't die or whatever. He's immortal, which you know I really am a big fan of Batman. I really am, and get, obviously. And you know I gotta say my big thing about the movie is Raj Al Ghul being like the main villain, pretty much was a little dumb. Um, because Raj Al Ghul is not really that, he's not bad, he just sort of does his own thing. And a lot of times when he does his own thing, Batman needs to get involved because he does something that, you know, he does, okay, he's sort of a villain, but he's sort of not, he can be good. Like, uh, in Batman Arkham City, um, when you're playing it, he will help you out in the game. He helps you, you know, in the game. Like, he helps you get better, but even in then, he sort of ends up being the bad guy, but that's not the point I'm talking about Batman Begins. Um, they don't really show him, like, they show him becoming the Batman, they show him getting the suit, they show him making his stuff, they show him, like, going to Lucius Fox, they show him the, uh, developing his things, they show him buying all this crap. My big thing was, you know, I do, when it comes to my Batman, I love the villains. And, you know, we have all these different series of how actually Batman began when he first came back. There's uh, the comic one, there's the even cartoon one movie, which I gotta personally say by far the best thing I've seen was the cartoon one. When he comes back and Batman begins, um, and they have the suit, like in Arkham City they have that suit, and that's what actually got me to watch the original cartoon version of when Batman started. And I gotta say, I really actually loved it. It was very well written. It was very well done. It was freaking awesome. And even for a cartoon movie, it was by far one of the best things I've ever seen about Batman. And I gotta say, if you have not seen it, I really recommend watching it. And I'm sorry if I spoil anything about it, but if I recommend if you click off right now and go watch that movie, because it's by far one of the best movies. It's Batman Year One. It is by far, yeah, it's Batman Year One. It is better than this, and it is by far one of the best things I've ever seen. Now, I, when I, I, did, I didn't get a watch for any of these. Actually, I watched the Dark, the, um, the Dark Knight before I saw Batman Begins, and I gotta say, Batman Begins was a little bit. It's a little disappointing. Okay, and here's why. Because, when I, I, I was in the Arkham games, and I'm all about the Arkham games because they do such a good job at Batman. I'm not gonna lie, they do. They, they're like perfect, dead on what Batman should be in the movies and like. The way it's in the video games, I personally think that's how all the villains should look, and that's all the villain, the, all the way the villains should be. But then in Batman Begins, Scarecrow, awful. They did a, they, I'm sorry, they did an awful Scarecrow. He was bad. He was just some guy that wore a mask, and they took it off over like five minutes, and I hated that. I wish they would have done a Scarecrow like they did, in, um, in the games, like when he had the, like that was his face, you know. He never took off the mask. He wore it all the time. Dr. Jonathan Crane is like, he's a human. He comes around and he got, does this all this stuff to the patient. I'm like, he never walks around as a person, though. You know, and the, and Scarecrow is always Scarecrow. He's like a Scarecrow that walk. you know, he doesn't, you know what I mean? He doesn't wear a mask. He sort of always is wearing the mask and he's always Scarecrow. He just somehow finds a way to always gas, your gas the people, which is great. And then, as I was saying, anyway, I, I gotta go back to year one real quick. Um, in year one, you know, it was Catwoman. And then they had, like, all these, I think Joker was in it. I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong. But anyway, I, it was a good move. That's the point here. I mean, they did superb. Just because it can't, I guarantee you it's better than Batman Begins. And, um, and Batman Begins, also, I feel like maybe it shouldn't, it should have not been a red juggle. They should have dead someone, either the Joker or the Riddler. And Riddler is long overdue to be in these movies because Riddler is by far one of the best villains I've ever seen in Batman. He's, my, he's like my number one favorite villain besides the Joker. And besides, I have, all the villains in Batman are great. But Riddler would be like perfect 
Because here's the thing, also you can, uh, Riddler has so many options for them even to put in the movie. He has a backstory um, that you can give him. Um, he always tries to test Batman. He could, Batman can go throughout the movie doing challenges where he's trying to hunt down Scarecrow. Something like that is what, that gives you multiple different options with that villain. Which would really be nice and really I think fans would appreciate to actually see Riddler because Riddler is by far a phenomenal, one of the best villains that you could possibly throw in a Batman movie and they haven't done it yet because apparently the original, the sucky Batman movies had him in it and I gotta admit that the, these movies are way better than the past movies that we've had uh, I like the guy um, I gotta say personally that um, what's, his, what's his name? give me a minute guys Christian Bale does a wonderful Batman he really does Okay, I gotta say, uh, personally, yes. That guy should be Batman in every movie. Every movie. Batman. Him. Because, like I say, him as Bruce Wayne is phenomenal. Is perfect. Man, I, I applaud him. Because he is that, actually that good. But, my main problem is the villains. My, the villains are what really makes this story for me. The villains are what he has to face. That's his challenge, that's his obstacle, that's what he has to beat and become a better person by beating them and he always learns something from the villains. He has to prep, he has to beat them and the villains cause all these problems for him. You know, the, the, when it comes to heroes, the villain is the guy that's always the problem that causes all these problems for them and also teaches them a lesson about being a hero. And that's the main thing. Your villains are sort of some, in a way, the big thing that really affects the entire story. And that's why I'm telling you, Riddler and Scarecrow would have been perfect for Batman Begins. But they didn't do that. Or if you wanted to, if you had Joker, it should have just been Joker. Or instead, they could have had Batman fight Scarecrow and whatever villain. And then, add on Joker having a little bit of the backstory. See, there was always that comic of, the, when he, when, of Joker becoming him when his pregnant ma and when his pregnant wife got killed with and his baby was gone and then he goes insane and he snaps and he laughs. Yeah but if you ever read that comic it's called the Killing Laugh Killing the Last I don't know I can't remember what it's called. I'll put an image of it over here and in that comic, you know, he just snaps, which uh personally I would also love to see that. Being I'm a big Batman fan and personally I feel like anyone that's a big Batman fan would think the movie was so much better if they'd done this and they put these things in there, but they didn't do that. And yeah, so Batman Begins overall, in my personal, they did good, but my point is they could have done better. They could have done so much better to appeal to us Batman fans, but they didn't do that. And I'm okay with that, but my point is, you know, consider your options, do better a little bit. But my honest opinion of this movie, um, Five out of five stars out of I will give them maybe a three and that's about I can give them because personally as I said they could have done a lot better with the movie as is where um, they didn't appeal to my Batman fans me uh, what I wanted to see in a movie but they did a good job with the beginning as Batman yes they did with the suit but Lucius Fox you know I uh, personally I never knew about Lucius Fox until I started watching these movies which means, you know, he's not really a big part of them, but they made him a big part in this thing. And I personally feel like they should have stuck with the comics. And that's what I feel. But yeah, so that but doesn't. Um, that's what I think about the movie. That's my review. Um, I don't know if it's really a review or just saying what they else could have done. But that's what I think about the movie when I watch it. And pretty much it. So thanks for watching. And next I'll do the Dark Knight movie review. It's a piece. Um, there isn't gonna be an outro. This is gonna be it. Uh, reviews are just gonna be talking. I'm not gonna put an intro or an outro. I have no reason to. All right, bye. A brother. All right, I'm actually adding an add on outro because I added an image and I wanted to put. I needed to put a disclaimer on here. So here's your outro. Sorry. Disclaimer: I do not own any of the music or pictures in this video. All rights go to the makers.